You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we're gonna be talking about the content coming tomorrow look we know the Ray Allen level 40 we know the unlimited reward we know all that well we didn't know who was who is gonna be in packs point guard shooting our point guard y'all see it Cade Cunningham coming to my team tomorrow Here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal with Cade Cunningham. We legitimately just saw Cade Cunningham. Just saw him. Last, uh, three days ago. Okay? Is the new Cade Cunningham going to be different than this Cade Cunningham? That is the big question mark. And if he's hardly different, is he going to be, you know, playing? That, that's another question. We're going to be diving into that today. But make sure y'all smash that subscribe button before we do anything else. Okay? Galaxy Open. Look at the card art, man. It reminds me. Look. It reminds me of like this card art from last year. I'm not saying it's the same, but it reminds me kind of this card art. I mean, do y'all see the resemblance? Maybe not. Maybe y'all don't see it. I see it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I see the card art, but this card art is absolutely heat. So here's the deal with Cade Cunningham. Okay, if we look at last year's card, obviously last year's Cade Cunningham had jump shot 98. Okay, our Cade Cunningham this year, here's the deal, guys. Jump shot 91. In jump shot 80 okay jump shot 80 has been his base cards basically the entire year it's been jump shot 80 the only thing was the colossal card had jump shot 91 now if I had to guess guys just me guessing I would guess that Kate Cunningham stays with the jump shot 80 on quick now what are my thoughts on jump shot 80 I don't necessarily love the release I don't necessarily hate the release I think it's an okay release in my team I think for a point guard it's an okay release, okay? Slasher dribble style, a little bit of a downside there is the slasher dribble style. Here's the deal though. Cade Cunningham's gonna need a big upgrade in his stats to be that top tier point guard, right? We got Jalen Rose, we got Lonzo Ball. And for example, if you compare this to a Jalen Rose card that we already have, it's not even close. Jalen Rose blows the Cade Cunningham away. And so when I say the Cade Cunningham needs a big boost, I, I mean it. Now, he is going to be a Galaxy Opal, which means he's going to have at least a total of, of probably 60 badges. 60 or more total badges. You're looking at probably 14, 15 Hall of Famers for Cade. He's going to need a big upgrade in the defense. That is the main thing I see for Cade cutting him speed. You know, defense, obviously, his three ball driving dunk, all that is fine. Would like to see the driving dunk be an 85 so he can get contacts. But that's the main thing for Cade cutting him. If you're a big Kate Cunningham fan, if you're a big Detroit Pistons fan, you should love this. What I think this means, more than anything, is that the content that we are going to get tomorrow is going to be absolutely fire. Because here's the deal, guys. We look at, at content drops throughout, you know, throughout the game, throughout throughout history. Normally, the first leak we get is like the, 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 the kind of weaker version of it. So I'm trying to go back here in, in time to kind of show you guys what I mean. For example, this week, Gilbert Arenas was our first week. Then we leaked. Then we saw Wilt Chamberlain, Paul George, and then Ben Simmons was last. So that's what I'm saying when we usually see the weaker stuff first is the fact that if Cade Cunningham is really the first guy that we see as far as leaks, it's probably going to be one of the worst cards in, as far as the top cards in the set, which is a bad sign if you want Cade Cunningham to be really good, but it's a good sign if you just want a good content drop. We usually do see a good content drops for the first drop of, of the season. Like this was our content drop last uh, on the first day of last season, which we saw Katie and Clay, two of the top cards, uh, top ten cards still in the game were in packs. We also saw Anton Jameson. Also saw the likes of Kyrie, Joe Johnson, even a Serge Ibaka who is good. So what do I expect? Well, I mean, for today's era, we're gonna see some dark matters. Cade's obviously not that, but what I do think for Cade gutting him is this, guys. If we go in here and look at the top point guards in the game, where do I think Cade Cunningham is going to be? Is he going to be better than Russell Westbrook? I think so. Better than Dark Matter Gary? I don't know. Probably not. Better than, you know, Gilbert. I think he's going to be better than Steph. Is he going to be better than Jalen Rose, Lonzo Ball? I personally don't think so. And that's the, that's the hold up I have is I do want Cade Cunningham to be good. But unless they change his dribble style one, if they change his dribble style to like shifty or quick, you're probably looking at the best point guard in the game. If they do update that, I'm also expecting them to update, obviously, his stats to be really good. They're not just going to give him, you know, the quick dribble style, but they could low-key, low-key make this Cade Cunningham like last year's Luka Doncic. 
I'm just saying they, they could do this if they really wanted to, in which they really did soup this Luka Doncic card up quite a bit. Give him XM, gave him Shifty. I mean, they could if they wanted to soup Cade Cunningham to this level. I don't think 2K will, but if 2K really wants Cade Cunningham to be like the main player or the you know the, the main attraction in this drop or one of the main two, three attraction to set, they might as well do that. Another reason I think that they could possibly do that is because we legitimately just saw Cade Cunningham. So it's like they might want Cade Cunningham to be something different. Obviously, he's better, but they might want him to do something different as well. Who else do I think we could see? I, I don't know. I think eventually we're going to see a center at some point. Kareem, possibly Hakeem. You're, you, you could look at uh, D-Rob. Maybe uh, it's been a while since we've seen Shaq. There's a lot of different guys that we could see at that center position as well as Cade. And by this time, the, the time the video is released, you guys might know at least one other player. All I can say is this. As far as the season in general, season four or season five in my team, I don't think this season with Ray Allen being the XP grinder and, and stuff like that is going to be too great for free cards. But we might start it off with a bang if we're talking cards like Cade Cunningham being a Galaxy Opal in a set. If the Cade is just slightly better than this Cade, going to be a very, very solid card in my team. It's going to be intriguing, obviously, to see who else comes out with Cade Cunningham, but... Look, if I'm just basing it solely on this card art in general, 2K has something something, something nice stored within this drop. I mean, that card art, first of all, I mean, let's break it down. Let's break down the card art, okay? They, I mean, you got the jersey, like, ripples in the jersey. Uh, this Kate Cunningham looks tough. What I'll say is this. If Kate Cunningham looks how he plays in 2K, we might be looking at the best point guard in the game. If he Just, just based on the card art. He is 6'8", 7'1", wingspan. If this card art says anything about Cade, we're getting a, a real good Cade cutting him, and we're getting a real, real, real good set in my team tomorrow. That's what I will say, because this type of card art, again, it, it definitely reminds me of like the Age of Heroes time in which we saw like a Luka Doncic super fire card art, for example. You also saw, you know, all these types of cards. Patrick Beverly's card art. like you guys might not like it but it, that's what it reminds me of the card art kind of reminds me of that but it reminds it, it's better like this card art is way better than some of this card art that we saw last year but that's just what it reminds me of but I want to know your thoughts on Cade Cunningham down below in the comments do you guys think Cade's gonna be the best point guard in the game or do you guys still think he's you know gonna be top five or so but not surpass some of the best let me know that down below in the comments. Also, let me know who you guys think is going to come out with Kate. Are we going to see a guy like Hakeem? Maybe like Kareem? Maybe maybe, maybe Shaq? Maybe Giannis? Maybe Kawhi? Maybe Braun? Who else do you guys think could be coming out with Kate cutting in tomorrow? Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.